Hi guys and welcome to part 3 of Angular with Firebase application tutorials. On this part we are going to learn about components as the main concept of an Angular application. So what are components? Components is just a TypeScript class which is used to control a view. In our case in here we have the app component and this component is going to interact with the view defined on the template URL. A component is used to hold the application logic all the application is going to be written inside the TypeScript class and this class or this component is going to interact with the view via the properties and the methods. For example, here in our case we have declared a property which is title, but the same way we could write a method as well, like for example log title. And in here we could simply write console.log this.title. So what this method is going to do, it's going to be used simply to log the title that we have declared here as a property of our app component. Each component goes through a life cycle and we are going to talk more about the life cycles on an upcoming part, but just to illustrate it in here, I'm going to show you a sample. So for example, for this component, we could use the onInit lifecycle hook. And to use that, we need to implement in here and we write simply implement on init. And we need to import from the Angular core, implement on init. We write the ng on init, remove this one. In here we write console.log. And here we write that on init executed. So what this means is that when we are going to call a component, the first thing that is going to be executed is this ng on init method. So let's go to our application open the F12 and refresh, you see here that on init executed was locked. As we have mentioned before, a component is just a TypeScript class. It remains just a class until we tell Angular that it's a component. To tell Angular that a class is a component, we need to use the metadata. In TypeScript, we attach the metadata by using a decorator. And the decorator for a component is this one in here, which is the add component decorator. And inside this decorator, we write the selector for the component. We declare the template URL and template URL defines the view that this component is going to use. And the other one is the styles URL. So on the styles URL, you can write all the custom CSS that you want to use for this particular component. Before we continue further, let us remove the onInit implementation. And after that, the ng onInit, we don't need this one as well. We can remove the function too and we leave it as it was on the beginning. So guys, this is all for this part. On the next part, we are going to create our first component using the Angular CLI and we are going to learn about the data binding. So how we can get the data from a view or send data to a view. Thank you one more time for watching and see you on the next part.